Hey, welcome back! In this video we are going to continue with the reaction of alcohols. Before you watch this video, I highly recommend to watch my previous video up here related with the preparation of alcohols. The main reaction of alcohols are conversion into alkyl halide, dehydration to yield alkenes, conversion into esters, oxidation to aldehydes, ketones and even carboxylic acid with a strong oxidant. Another thing that I'm going to touch is protection of alcohols, especially important to complex synthesis and some things related with phenols. So let's dive into it. Let's start with the first one, synthesis of alkyl halides from alcohols. Tertiary alcohols can be converted easily to alkyl halides. It's an SN1 mechanism. But if you have primary and secondary alcohols, they need a special reagent to be converted. The two most typical ones are thionyl chloride in ether and phosphorus bromide. Keep those two reagents in mind. So what they are going to give from this compound, going to give the corresponding alkyl halide. Right? Let's move further. The use of tosylate to invert the configuration. This is especially when you're dealing with RS configuration. For example, if you start from an S product, you use this pyrotolo and sulfonyl chloride that is a good leaving group. This is going to break only the bond between oxygen and hydrogen here, not all this OH, and making it a better leaving group. And what is going to happen after if you perform an SN2 reaction, what is going to happen is going to invert the configuration from S to R, right? And uh, if you do this straight without this tosylate compound here, is going to be the final product with the same configuration as the same as the first one. So if you start from S, treat with treat it with thionyl chloride, it's going to invert it because it's going to remove entirely the OH, making that a, firstly a better leaving group and after that attracting with the chlorine according to SN2 reaction mechanism. And it's going to go S. Okay, let's move further. Dehydration of alcohols to yield alkenes. Tertiary alcohols follow Zaitsev rule. They go acid catalyzed. And what we are going to what we are going to have on this case, formation of an alkene. And this is going to be the major product. You're going to have also those products, but they are minor. Right? But this one is the major product, according to Zaitsev rule, to the more substituted carbon. In case of primary and secondary alcohols, you can perform this experiment in under harsh conditions, like very concentrated sulfuric acid, but some compounds are sensitive and you cannot apply that hard, that uh, powerful acid to convert it. So another solution is using phosphorus oxychloride in pyridine solution. In this case, uh, this goes like an E2 mechanism and you are going to yield again alkene, right? Keep in mind this compound. Phosphorus oxychloride in case you have primary and secondary alcohols to convert them to alkenes, right? Okay, let's move further. Conversion of alcohols into esters. From carboxylic acid treated with in acid catalyzed solution, from carboxylic acid uh, that react with an alcohol is going to give an ester under acid catalyzed condition. But this is not the preferred way to do that, but you can convert this uh, carboxylic acid with thionyl chloride to acyl chloride and uh, react that with alcohol and you can convert that easily to esters. So, right, let's move further. This is important especially to remember for alcohol reactions. Oxidation of alcohols. As we learned to the preparation of alcohols, we did the reduction with sodium borohydride or lithium aluminum hydride. Here, in this case, we are doing the reverse, oxidation. When we treat 
always when you have an alcohol look what kind of alcohol is i mean primary secondary or tertiary because they have they react differently with different products so let's move first to the point a that is with primary alcohols with primary alcohols you can oxidize them to aldehydes or carboxylic acids if you want to stop to aldehydes you're going to use a soft oxidizing agent we can say like that the first one, because different books have different reagents, but these are the three typical ones. Desmartin periodian, DPM. This compound here, you can remember it as periodian or DPM in dichloromethane. PCC or PDC, one of them, not both of them, in uh, dichloromethane again. What are they? PCC is pyridinium chlorochromate, is this structure here. PDC is pyridinium dichromate. Both those oxidizing agents are soft oxidizing agent and are used to stop the reaction to the aldehyde. So it doesn't matter what you use, I mean, for the exam, because in the lab depends what you have and what conditions are, and you have to consider also the costs. Okay, uh, what is going to be the product? In both cases, it's going to be an aldehyde. Right? Even here, it's going to be an aldehyde. Okay. What about if you want to convert primary alcohols into carboxylic acids? You're, you're going to need to use a strong oxidizing agent, and the best for those ones are those chromates. Right? Depends what the exercise want to do. Okay. Let's move further. Secondary alcohols. Secondary alcohols are converted to ketones right so it doesn't matter if you use a strong oxidizing agent or a weak oxidizing agent they are going to ketones they do not go to e to aldehydes right keep in mind this thing so the product is going to be a ketone cyclohexanol in this case both cases of course this is cheaper reagent than this one in case you want to know tertiary alcohols can we oxidize tertiary alcohols no because they do not have hydrogens right do not try to oxidize tertiary alcohols. Let's move to the protection of alcohols. We discussed in one of our previous video about Grignard reagent that was sensitive to some certain compounds. So in this case, if you have this compound, if you go straight, you're not going to get this compound. The reason is that this is going to be protonated, the OH group is going to protonate the Grignard reagent. What we do instead, there are several other protection compounds used, but this is a typical one that can be used in organic chemistry exam, okay? But if you are in laboratory synthesis, there are a lot, a lot of ways to protect. This is one that is typical to remember. Chlorotrimethylsilane, this compound here, TMS, TMS, what it's going to do is going to protect the OH group. So. In this case, this is an ether and is not so reactive. We are going to see in the next video, hopefully next week, uh, ab about ethers and they are not so reactive. So we can carry out now the reaction to form the, uh, to form the magnesium, uh, the Grignard reagent, right? So we can treat this because this site here is protected. We can treat this with magnesium in ether. And what we are going to have, the Grignard reagent ready. Rea if, and if you want to do an, uh, an reaction, react in, let's react it with formaldehyde. You are going to have the formation of alcohol. Now we can do, as a second step, uh, hydrolysis and remove the TMS, TMS or trimethylsilyl in this case and have straight the diol in this case. Right? So let's move further. There is a noise coming from outside that is bothering my head. Preparation of phenols, 
Uh, you can start from isopropyl benzene or kume, kumen, treated with oxygen in under hot conditions, and you are going to yield kume herb hydroperoxide, this one here, and uh, after that, uh, in aqueous, in uh, acid medium, you're going to yield the phenol, also acetone. Is both products, both products are beneficial. Okay, this is one way to prepare phenols. In terms of reaction of phenols, electrophilic aromatic substitution, as we saw, the reaction that phenol was an activating reagent, the an activating uh, that activated in ortho ampere position, for example, nitration here in ortho ampere position. I'm not going to spend so much time with it because we treated that in, in the one of uh, our previous videos. Oxidation of phenols to yield quinones. You can try sodium dichromate to yield a benzoquinone, and this reaction is reverse. If you if you reduce this with tin chloride, you're going to get that. Uh, the hydroquinone again. Okay, let's move to the summary now. I mean, you can pause the video here and try to fill those letters by yourself, and after that, click again to check if you click if you if you did them right. Okay, the first one, from the ketone to go to the alcohol. What is this process? This is a reduction. What we did, how we did that. We had two options, sodium borohydride and lithium aluminum hydride. In this case, both of them worked. So let's treat them with sodium borohydride. Now, to convert secondary alcohols to alkyl halides, what we just used, we used phosphorus 3 bromate in ether, right? And after that, to convert this one to an alcohol, what do we use? Grignard reagent. So first one, magnesium in ether, and the second one, we can add a formal aldehyde that was the compound to yield primary alcohols. If you check my previous video, you should know that. And from primary alcohols to aldehyde, in this case is oxidation. As I said, you can use, I'm using for example here desmatin pyridion, desmatin pyridion, in a dichloromethane, right? To convert it to aldehyde. Now, from aldehyde is converted to alcohol. What is done here? Because here, even with the conversion, you have also addition of uh, another structure. So, in order to do this, we are going to use again Grignard reagent. So, the compound here first uh, is going to be this compound, uh, magnesium, it has one carbon here, so it's going to be CH2Br, okay? H3 plus to remove. Now, to move from secondary alcohols to alkenes, what we said, uh, phosphorus, oxochloride was one of them to use in to use in soft conditions, right? In pyridine, room to zero degrees Celsius. Okay, and if you want to reduce the double bond, we have hydrogen reduction in palladium. Okay, hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and look forward to see you in the next video. Peace.